Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am in the mood to surf the internet and go shopping. It is makeup sale season, so we're gonna talk about a couple sales that I'm really excited about. There's also going to be a giveaway, so if you want to learn more about that, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market, which is why this time of year is really exciting for me. I love testing out all of the products and then telling you what is worth it and what you should spend your money on for the sales. So like I said, it is sales season. I'm gonna cover only two sales today. I'm going to do like a shop with me filling my basket for the Muse Beauty Pro sale. And then of course, I'm gonna start hunting for what I want for the Sephora V. VIB sale. So we are first going to start off with the Muse Beauty Pro sale. So their sale is going to start April 1st. So it might have already started and you get $20 off at checkout every $100 that you spend. You guys know I am a big fan of Muse Beauty Pro. I support them fully. I believe they are a small company of very kind people and they actually reached out like this video is not sponsored or anything but they reached out and said that they wanted to do a giveaway with me. So the winner of the giveaway is going to get a V-Series brush set, and I'll show you that in a few moments. But first, I want to show you what I'm planning on picking up for this sale at Muse Beauty Pro. Maybe surf the site a little bit. Bridal season is starting very soon, so I need to stock up on a few things, and I go to Muse Beauty Pro a lot for that. So anyways, let's get to the website, shall we? Okay, so I'm on the Muse Beauty Pro website. The sale is not currently going on at the moment that I'm filming this. I'm just preparing, but if you see, here's something that you might want to consider actually getting $20 off on immediately because this is originally $150, so you can get this for $130. I know it's not the best deal, but it's still $30 off, or excuse me, it's still $20 off. Uh, I did do a full video on the Grande Pro Volume 1. It's a beautiful palette. I compared it to the one that came out a couple of years ago as well. Definitely a staple for makeup artists, particularly bridal. I just feel like this is the perfect bridal palette, and I picked this up full price from Muse Beauty Pro. I wish I had waited at least for this sale, but I didn't get the chance to, but... Had I waited, this would be in my basket right now, but I was like two weeks too quick. Also, something that I've been considering getting, I actually might add it to my card, sorry. I'm on Jose's laptop, so none of my stuff is logged in or anything. They have an empty pro palette from Visi Art. This looks perfect for my makeup kit just because it's the same size as my other Visi Art palettes, and I'm sorry if you can hear Jose's dragon breathing right now. His laptop just breathes so loud. But anyways, I would like this in my kit because it already fits my Grande palette and I can put other Visi Art shadows. It's a magnetic palette, so I'm going to add this to my cart because this would fit perfectly for all of my singles. And I'm thinking of building a blush palette soon, so I'm going to add that. Something also worth looking into are the Ket Fix Powder Foundations. So they were kind enough to actually send me the entire set of all 12 shades, but I've been really into powder foundations lately and I've been testing this one, it's really good. Oh, something I always recommend. If you are a powder foundation fan, the Isam X57 is my all-time favorite kabuki brush. I used it in a TikTok that I talked about, and then I used it in an Instagram story where I was trying out powder foundations. Every powder foundation that I wear, I apply it with this, $75. It really hurts. It's very expensive. So this is a good time to pick it up because Isam has the best brushes. Since we're here, let's talk about the giveaway a little bit. Like I said, Isam was kind enough to just do a little giveaway with me. So they offered to give away a set of their Isam Pro V series. So it's a vegan brush set. They are man-made fibers because I know some of you guys don't like natural hair brushes. Now I would show you mine, but the majority of mine are actually in my makeup kit right now. I prefer synthetic fibers to keep in my kit just because they're a bit more robust. They go through more washings. So I love this, particularly the eyeshadow brushes in here are really, really nice. This brush right here is really fantastic as a bronzer brush. And overall, it's just a really good brush set that's going to last you your lifetime. The brushes are so well made from Isam. I've been a huge fan for years. 
And even if you don't win this in the giveaway, it's a beautiful set. I highly recommend it. You can get it on a very good deal with an additional $20. I almost said 20% with an additional $20 off your purchase. If you're looking for some good long lasting makeup brushes, um, Isam does have natural hair, but they also have a synthetic. So that's something that I would recommend. Uh, but if you want to enter the giveaway, very, very simple. All you have to do is comment down below something that you want to pick up for any sales going on, whether it be the Sephora or the Muse Beauty Pro, and also type in a way for me to contact you, whether that be through email or Instagram. I always prefer Instagram. Make sure you're following me so I can find you on Instagram as well. Uh, Morgan Turner Makeup. So just be following me on Instagram if you're using Instagram. Like this video, comment something that you are excited to pick up during the sales season, and you can win this. But anyways, let's keep going. So there are some stuff that I do want to pick up. So one thing that I love that Muse Beauty carries is Embryolisse. I use the Hydra Matte Emulsion in my kits. I use the eye cream in my kits. And my cream concentrate has completely run out. So I'm just going to get the biggest size. It's amazing for more dry skin. I would say I use it on probably like 80 to 90 percent of my clients and it's great for sensitive skin it really is a professional product and not a lot of people use it in their everyday routines but i highly recommend it um, and again the oily one is really great i don't talk about these in my personal videos because i don't personally use them there's so many beautiful like name brand um moisturizers that I like to use on camera, but this is just one that I know is not going to irritate anybody's skin, which is why I prefer it. So little makeup artist tip there. It's a whole different world. My, the products that I use in my makeup kit versus my personal, <laughs> it's really, really funny. This one is really today for the Muse Beauty Pro sale is going to be for my makeup kit that I've been wanting. Um, there was a makeup brush that I've been wanting from Isom for my kit. Let me find it so I can show you. These are really good. Isam has the best like pinky puff sets. I don't use them too often. I have a set that I keep in my makeup kit in case I feel like there's somebody's makeup that I really don't want to disrupt. They have the best. Also in my makeup kit, I use the lip liners and eyeliners. I'm actually, you know what? I should get another set of eyeliners, just a fresh set for the year. And oh my, see the Isam like pencils are the best. I'm gonna get some fresh brow pencils and some fresh eyeliners. You don't want those to get bad, you know? I'm putting them in people's eyes. So I needed some fresh ones. I think I'm good with the lip liners because I just got them last year. Um, and I use some other brands as well. This is one I wanted. No, it wasn't. Just kidding. Also, the makeup bag that I actually use my main makeup bag is this Pro Makeup Kit bag from Isom. I should do a whole video on what I keep in it, but highly recommend this. I have all of my main products that I mostly use in this set, and I just open it up on the desk that I'm working on or wherever my makeup kit's set up. It's amazing if you're a makeup artist or if you travel a lot. Highly recommend it. It keeps your makeup very, very safe. Where's the brush that I was looking for, though? Mm, I need it. I want to get one of these. I needed that. So right now, as you can see, I'm mostly stocking up for my kit. Isam just has the best stuff for makeup artistry. Uh, the X51. This is the one I wanted for my kit. I love this. It's natural hair, but I don't care. I love it. Now, some other things that you might want to consider. I just love the Eastland brand stuff as far as sanitation, brushes, and travel bags. But I always recommend buying Visi Art from Muse Beauty Pro just because I like supporting the company. 90% of the time, I order my Visi Art from here. I've been thinking about getting the mix, mix set, but I think I'm going to hold off. I own pretty much all of the Visi Art stuff, so... There's no reason for me to purchase right now. What, how many, how much am I at? I should be at like two, three hundred because I'm crazy. Okay, 272. I gotta spend 30 more dollars. I'll get some eyelashes. I really like the lashes in a box. So I think I'm gonna get a box of them. Oh, the number 23s. 
They have a box set of the 23s. I really like those. These are just really great everyday lashes. So, okay, we're good on those. Restock my makeup kit. Let's get into the good stuff now. Let's go to sephora.com. Like I said, I'm on Jose's laptop right now, so I'm not gonna be logged in or anything. Let me give you a little explanation though. A lot of the good stuff I'm actually gonna be skipping out on because I may or may not have a sponsorship with Sephora coming up, so I've already picked out the items for that. So this is me, like what I'm gonna spend my own money on. So let's go to new makeup. This has to be on Sephora's end. And this laptop's getting really angry at me. That's okay, we're just gonna go brand by brand anyways because if I went down the new arrived, I wouldn't add anything fun. So let's start off with ABH. Let's see if there's anything that I want from ABH. I'm gonna organize it by new. I don't think there's anything, oh, you know what? I'm just, I've been eyeing this. It, people seem to love it and I didn't pick it up and I definitely am having FOMO. So I'm just going to casually just add that to my list. But I don't think there's going to be anything else that I would want from ABH. No, maybe it's just kind of boring nowadays with the lack of releases, just for the type of content that I do. Uh, what about Armani Beauty? So I'm not sure. Wait, hold on. Let's organize by new, not best selling. So, okay, just so you know, I did order the Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder because I was eyeing that hard. But what I'm thinking about are these Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancers. As attracted as I am, I probably won't use them. <laughs> I don't use this type of product. Like, I kind of want this peach blush. I want the pink one, but it's sold out. Okay, I guess I'm adding that to my cart. This does not mean I'm actually going to purchase it. This is just going to be on hold until I make my final decision. <laughs> I don't think I want anything from Artist Couture. Artist Couture was doing so good for the longest. And I swear, recently their stuff has just become boring. Like, how did you go from this to this? I'm not into it. We're going to keep it moving. Let's see, does Benefit have anything new? Ah, nothing that I need, at least. Nothing that I want. Your Bite Beauty, I haven't been keeping up with them. What do we have that's new? I heard good things about the mascara, and I'm interested in this liquid liner, but I don't need eyeliners right now, but I love Bite Beauty. I like keeping up with them and the products that they have. Let's see what else we have. Bobbi Brown. Ah, Bobbi Brown does not get enough love. From me included. Wow, they have a jumbo face base. If you're a face base fan, I swear it breaks me out though, which makes me really sad. I still use it anyways, but I do think that the face base is just too thick for my skin. Nah, sorry, Bobby. I don't see anything that I need right now. Let me show you something from Charlotte that I've been wanting. So they have all of her eyebrow products now, which I've already bought, but I did not pick up, why is that happening? The Sweet Blossom lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, and I've been eyeing it, so I think now is the time. I've been thinking heavy about it. It's actually kind of embarrassing <laughs> how much I've been thinking about it when it's the last thing that I need. I've still always had, I don't know if I can find it, the Pillow Talk Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury in my head. Not Walk of No Shame. I actually think I have this. It's like a deep burgundy. There was like, um, the light's changing. I hope that doesn't matter because I'm only in the little corner right here. Oh, I guess I can't find it. It was like the pillow top color. Oh, here it is. This is what I want. I really like her eyeliners. 
we're just adding for fun. It doesn't mean anything. And if I choose to get all of this, it's none of your business. I spend money so you don't have to. Um, uh, it is so hot in this room. It's Jose's laptop. He fights with me on this. Okay, so I, I will admit I did order some Danessa Myers things already. I want to try the Vision Cream Color, color this thing. But she actually does have samples online that you can get. You have to pay like $10 for them. But I think that's a much better bet than just buying the whole thing and not even knowing what uh, color I am. Also, I've been wanting this. So casually just going to add that. And her makeup isn't super expensive compared to other brands at Sephora. But I've been a fan of her for so long. I've been a fan of her makeup line for so long. Even if it was stuff that I haven't purchased. Like I don't own a lot, but I know a lot about her makeup brand, I feel like, just from watching her tutorials. So I really like when she uses the beauty oil. So I wanted to pick that up and then I wanted the highlight palette. So I'm gonna put those in my cart for now because I've been thinking about them very heavily. Now Dior, okay, I did buy some stuff yesterday. I sound like a shopaholic, I promise you. I am. Um, <laughs> I picked up the primer already. And I picked up, I believe, this already. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm a big Dior makeup fan, if you didn't know. So I stocked up the other day. So I'm like letting you guys know what it's going to be in my future haul. It was supposed to be a secret, but mm, no other brands. I want to do a full face of Estee Lauder. So I'm not going to shop at Estee Lauder right now. But I think one day during the sale, I might just pick up stuff for a video. I'm at the point now where I can now purchase multiple items for one video, like a full face of a full brand, because that used to obviously financially be very hard on me. And thanks to you guys and watching my videos, I can actually really create content that I want to create with um, a bigger budget. So I think Estee Lauder is one of the first full face brand videos that I want to do. But we'll come to that another day. Let's take a look at Fenty Beauty. Um, I think I picked up what I wanted. This is what I wanted. But this body sauce, I told you guys I wanted it. I just see myself in the summer and in Florida evening out my skin tone with it. And it's semi-new, so I want to tell you if it's good or not. I don't know if I'll actually end up with it, but I want it. <gasps> oh no! Gucci. I just did a full face of Gucci on my channel. It uploaded today, so I filmed it yesterday. I really like these eyeliners. At first I wasn't so into them, but now I want it in chocolate. I have it in black and it's very, very black, but now I want it in like a not so black because it, it stays in the waterline forever. It's so long wearing. Oh, I don't need it though. I'm not going to. But I want to. Okay, I feel like I own everything. <gasps> no, no, no. You know what I need? I ordered the eyebrow pencil in Auburn. And I do not have Auburn hair. So let me get the right color. I don't know if I made the mistake at checkout when I was ordering it. I'm going to get light brown. I prefer a lighter color in my eyebrows. Or if, anyways, back to what I was saying. I don't know if I made the mistake of ordering the wrong color or they sent me the wrong color, but I didn't try it for like three weeks. So I couldn't return it anyways. So I've been using an Auburn pencil and <laughs> it does it does not look very good. Um, okay. I believe, oh, this came in stock today. I already ordered it. Review purposes. I couldn't wait for the sale, you guys. But in case you didn't know, the Brown Obsessions palettes are back or not back they're available now at huda why she has so many perfumes i did not realize that but anyways they look so boring to me like i'm not interested in them but i am because it's huda it's like a brand thing i think i ordered the foundation because i was curious about it i heard too many people talking about it so i was like fomo do i need to re-up on my home i don't think i do these are jose's midnight slides it makes me so angry um, I feel the need to talk louder because Jose's laptop is breathing harder. I have not checked in on A Cosmetics in a while. What's up with you? 
nothing. These are like the same products that have been out, okay? JLo Beauty did not interest me at all. Uh, I just ran out of my Kiehl's moisturizer. It was so good, but I've died. I want to try a new moisturizer. I don't know. Okay, Kosas. Kosas has some new... Oh, not high to low. These new brow products, are these available? Yes, they are. Oh, I'm so excited. These look so cool. Kosas is a brand that is too cool for me. But these, I love the packaging of these. Warm medium. I don't want a warm medium brown. Do they have a cool brown? Soft brown black rich dark brown. I don't like these tinted things to be, oh, there we are, medium brown. Too dark on me. I prefer them to be lighter. <gasps> these were not here yesterday when I was looking, so I'm excited about that. Give me neutral brown. Thank you. Do, I swear, everybody says that in browns, they never have like a neutral brown. So then why do brands keep making them? Like, I'll occasionally use a warm brown on a client, but not really. I mostly prefer cooler browns. Anyways, ooh, I'm so excited I checked on that. I almost didn't. Uh, just so you know, they restocked on their website these. Not on Sephora's website, but the KVD website, if you wanted that. I lucked out. I reviewed that before it became, like, trending. So uh, otherwise I would have had serious FOMO because it's sold out everywhere locally where I live. I was so close the other day to ordering the... Dude, chill. The Mare Powder Foundation, but it doesn't match up with the names of their liquid foundation. So that's why I didn't save me $125, but I still want it maybe one day. Uh... What do I want? Where was I just at? Okay, Laura Mercier. I wanted a couple blushes. Some of their blush colors look really pretty. I wanted passion fruit because I like pink. I also want Bellini though. Oh, no, I'm not ready. $386. Why have I not been paying attention? Okay, so I've been wanting that. Laura Mercier, I don't know. Are they doing well? Can somebody, are they selling things? I feel like they get, everybody gets PR from them, but then never talks about it. So I want PR from them. <laughs> I love Laura Mercier, even though I also don't use their products like that. Ooh, okay. The Lawless Bio Glitter looks beautiful. It's only $14. That's cheap for Sephora. I've been eyeing that for a while. So I wanted to get that in my basket. Lawless. Mm, do I need anything from these brands? I was looking at List Beauty. Love yourself. And all the goods are sold out. Even the blushes, I think. So me and List Beauty are not happening, unfortunately. I tried. A lot of people were loving their stuff. Oh, Makeup Forever. Do you guys remember when Makeup Forever was pop a Now what is this? Primers? They still have good stuff though. Don't sleep on them. Even though they might be boring, the stuff works. Or Jacob's Beauty, I haven't liked their stuff recently. Okay, so the number one thing on my list for the sale was the Mount Cosmetics cream blushes. I already ordered them, coming soon. These are pretty, I don't need them though. I don't know, I just, Mel as a brand doesn't impress me. They just, they're too spotty. Okay, I know what I want from Milk. They reformulated their skin tint. Where am I? My medium. I want to try the new reformulation because I didn't love the first version of it, but like I used it a lot just because it was so convenient, you know? Those chalk things have to be a gimmick. They have to. There's no way that it works. Am I interested in anything from that new Merit brand? So many like cream, natural makeup brands are coming out. It's quite the trend. I'm not into that though. I like cream products, but no. I like to set it with powder though afterwards. So I'm a fake. NARS, let's see. NARS. Oh, I've been wanting to get this 
Did they come out with new shades? I don't know why. Oh, yeah, they did. I've been wanting to... I used this years ago, and it's been my favorite tinted moisturizer, but I just have so many face products that I can never get myself to buy it. Like, even now, I'm like, no, no, no. But it's the best tinted moisturizer if you're looking for anything. I own everything from Natasha Denona. Get me off of this page. So good, though. So, so good. Mm. I love nude sticks as well. I'm trying not to add more because I know my card's like $400 and it's just not what I need. Oh, you know what? Are these available? Please be available. No, coming soon. Well, when these come out, I'm getting them. Well, like one or two shades. I haven't decided which one yet, but I'm really excited about that. They look like they're going to be good, just like the Wayne Goss. Am I even in frame right now? Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, but I do want to get those. Oh, no, philosophy. I'm not interested in you right now. Uh, Rare Beauty. I feel like I own everything from Rare You know what? It's not as fun to shop with me when you, like, own everything. <laughs> I want to try. I'm not going to get it because I have so many foundations right now, but I want to try the Self Refreshing Foundation from Shiseido. But I ordered like three foundations recently, so let me not. Has the Too Faced Teddy Bear Palette come out yet? I want that. Are we back? <gasps> Yay! I've been wanting this. Okay, I want to get that. The other stuff in the collection is a big fat no from me. But that wasn't available the other day, so I'm excited about that. Touch and Soul. <gasps> They're getting rid of Touch and Soul, it looks like. That's sad. I loved a lot of products from Touch and Soul. Oh, Tower 28 still has the same stuff. Those new cream blushes, though, are beautiful. I was lucky enough, blessed enough to have them sent to me. Urban Decay is making a comeback, and I'm so excited for them. I want, but I'm not going to. I just ordered too many foundations. I gotta chill. Okay, I'm trying to make it through this list. I don't think there's anything else that I need. Yes, there is. Ooh, Veluspa. I wanna, <laughs> I love Veluspa candles. They're so expensive for no reason, but they do have reasons. They smell delightful, amazing. The Goji and Taroko, I don't even think I'm saying that right. Best candle ever. I think that's the one that's the best one. They have a lot. I have too many Veluspa candles from the holidays, so I'm not going to, but normally I would. But <laughs> restraint. Okay, last brand I'm going to look at is Westman Atelier because where was it? I don't like cream highlight sticks. But I want this because I saw Alicia using it and now I want it. So we're just gonna add it. Okay, I haven't been paying attention to the price. I know we stopped at like 380. Oh, okay, it went up to 535. Can I see my items, please? Jose, your computer does not like Sephora. Excuse me. Why is your computer like this? ABH. Do I still want that? Yes. I still want this. 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 Okay. I'll, I'll move this to loves. Oh, I'm not logged in. I'm going to have to edit this. But we'll stop that there. <laughs> so, hypothetically, if I bought all of that, I would have spent a lot of money, but I'm going to take these next few days to really think about my purchases, edit them down, and until then, that is all I have for today's video. You guys get a little sneak peek of some new items that are going to be entering my collection, hopefully, and I'm starting to ponder through my Sephora event. 
wish list, my future haul, and all the products I'm going to be trying out. So I'm going to end the video here. Let me know if there's anything that you do want me to review. And I might add it into my car. I don't know if I get enough requests. You don't need to tell me twice. Let me just say that. And make sure if you haven't entered the giveaway that you do, you will love the V-Series brushes from Isam. They're awesome. And thank you so much to Muse Beauty Pro for even offering it to do the giveaway. So even though this for sale hasn't started, the Muse Beauty Pro sale has. So if you're not rouge and there's something that like Viseart, for example, that Muse has, that Sephora also has, this way you can get your 20% off if you spend $100. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you all in the next one. And by the way, before I forget, just so you know, the affiliate link for Muse Beauty Pro, it's affiliated. I do make a small commission. So, I mean, if you are against affiliates, then don't use that link. But if you want to support me, make sure you shop through the Muse Beauty Pro link and I'll get a small commission. But it's like really small anyways. Anyways, 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 bye.